Hello everyone, welcome to this week's video blog for myself, Max McGillivray at Red Fox. Today we're very honoured to be at the Houses of Parliament where there's... Uh... Hello Prime Minister. Yes, no, I'm, I'm sorry I, hang, I hung up on you earlier. Yeah, who was on the phone to? Carol Ford. Yeah, you never hang up to, on the phone to, uh, to, to Carol Ford. My ideas on Brexit? Oh, I think you need to have another referendum. You need to spice it up a bit because there's not a lot of action going on, is there? Yeah, and then after that, call a general election. And after that, call Carol Ford. OK, thank you, Prime Minister. Have a great Christmas. What time shall I see you? OK, 11 o'clock at Checkers. OK, see you then. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to the serious stuff. Uh, we're in London today, had a very interesting meeting uh, in this locality with uh, some very interesting people who are asking our advice actually on our views on Brexit, um, especially after the uh, Grower Summit that uh, we were very kindly involved with with, uh, with, with Carol Ford. Um, and my clients very kindly allowed me to take along my chairman. Now my chairman's a very interesting individual. He's been with our business for near on 10 years now. Um, strategically very aware, commercially very astute, has got a deft touch, especially with, uh, with retailers. I'd, I'd love you to meet my, uh, my chairman. Can I introduce you to, to Boo? <laughs> Say hello to everyone, Boo. Hello. Okay, so uh, subject at hand. Uh, we have quite an interesting one today. We're not going to talk about Bob, Border Brexit. We've got an investment opportunity for you to review. So, you ready for this? Here we go. So this Investment opportunity is quite an, an interesting one. Let's give you the background to it. The UK salad sector is facing a number of issues. Transport costs rising, uh, plus a shortage of, uh, of labour. Retail price pressure. Well, let's not even go there because we talk about this uh, every week. Plastic packaging under pressure. We'll come on to that in a minute. Reduction of available pesticides and consumer pressure not to use them. Uh, more volatile weather systems. Look at the amazing, uh, but quite disastrous summer we had for some of our growers in the UK. Um, and growth in demand as people choose a different route to eat their products. Protein being shifted to the side of the plate and more fresh produce wanted to be consumed. So all these issues need to be resolved and our contact believes that they've got a significant opportunity. And if you'd be interested, they'd love to get you involved. So what is this opportunity? Okay, well, let's just look at the details again. If you take the transport issue, um, during the Spanish import season, uh, the numbers for the UK are somewhere in the region of um, 1,200 trucks are coming over at a total cost of three, three and a half million pound per week. So that's 27 full tanker loads of fuel being used to move salad from Spain to the UK. And let's not even get onto organics being flown over from uh, the likes of uh, West America over to, to the UK. So is this sustainable? Of course not. The seed required, would you believe the seed required um, for all of that product could easily fit into the boot of a Mark 1 Mini. So let's just repeat that. All the seed that we've just talked about for near on um, 1,200 trucks coming over from Spain, the seed to grow them could fit into the back of an old knackered old Mini, would you believe? And the labour, oh, this, everyone's talking about it. With Brexit upcoming, uh, problems here in the UK, problems in, uh, in mainland Europe. To harvest and pack that Spanish crop alone, you need approximately 2,500 stuff so that's a wage bill of approximately a million pounds a week and rising. And let's get on to the really interesting one, especially with some of the stuff that was on the radio even today, um, all the new initiatives coming from the government. Plastics. In recent time, the issue has become more of a concern. Did you know the leafy salad industry in the UK uses circa 1.8 million tonnes per year? 1.8 million tonnes. So is that sustainable? Of course not. So what's our client got that is different? They've got an offer where they've created a solution for people to have salads in the home. Deliver to them that they grow, that they can care and share, take off for them themselves when they need it. Uh, they've got the product, they've got the, uh, the, the growability. Now they're looking for key partners to help them in marketing and also financially to get their brand out there to exploit this uh, potential that is, uh, is there. So with all those issues, our client believes that they have created a solution that is going to conquer the transport, the labour and the packaging issues. 
It's very straightforward, but there's some key bits of technology that they've got that they've licensed that they think is going to give them a market leading edge. But what do they need? They need investment. They need people who understand the revolution that they've created and want to be part of it. So if you want to find out more about this hugely innovative product offering that our contact has got, please give us a shout. Details will be at the end of the website or on the, uh, on the various links. Thank you very much for watching. And just before we wrap up, we've got lots of new roles in. Bit odd because of the time of year and um, Bob bought a Brexit, but we've got lots of new roles in the UK and overseas, both mid management and senior level. So have a look at our website uh, for more. And we look forward to seeing you at the next blog. Thank you very much.